What's up, blockheads? Welcome to today's episode where we are working on the Harley Davidson Iron 883, which is no longer gonna be an 883 after we're done with it. This is a bike that we are giving away in the process of putting a big bore kit on it. We thought we'd take you guys through the how-to video. I'm up here at Seminole Harley Davidson with Chris, Sick Wide Glide, Eric Baggerbro, Greg and Javi in the background joining us. <laughs> wrenching on bikes today. <laughs> Taking this one down and making it into the big bore kit from Revzilla, which is the SNS Hooligan kit. We've got cams for it, cylinders, pistons. We got a tuner, and then we also have a two to one because, as we know from previous experience, the Bassani pipes don't make that good of power. This episode is brought to you guys in part by Revzilla. They are sponsoring season five of the Blockhead Bike Build Giveaway. So, like I said, we're giving this one away. If you guys are interested in joining, check out the link down in the description below. Join at patreon.com slash blockheadmoto. Pledge per episode. However many episodes come out times your pledge amount equals the number of your entries. Put everybody's entries in a hat at the end of the season. Pick out three because we're giving away three bikes. So this one, Indian Scout plus Yamaha Bolt. Whenever we're done, which is in about a month, uh, you've got about a month of episodes left to get in on it. So if you guys have any questions, drop your questions down in the comments below. We're gonna go ahead and get to wrenching on this thing with the uh, expert knowledge of old sick wide glide here, Chris. If you guys don't know, yeah, of course. Every episode, bro, that credibility. Now, we're 24 years experience, master level technician up here at Seminole Harley Davidson. Damn, you got this down. That's right. I've done plenty of work on Sportsters. Never done a big bore kit though. This is something that a lot of you guys have been asking for. So we're gonna follow along with a professional here. I don't know if you guys heard, 24 years experience. So just as a heads up, he really hates whenever people compliment him. And it's kind of a compliment, so. I appreciate it, yeah. but I don't do well with compliments. I understand, me neither. So going through the process, remove the seat so that we have access to the bolts for the tank. He doesn't want to take the tank off, so we're just going to lift it up uh, because we got to pull the push rods on the other side out. We're definitely going to replace these plug wires, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those. Oh, yeah. I'm not staying with white plug wires. Why are we replacing those plug wires? There's nothing else white on the bike. It doesn't make sense. All the more reason. Be Veto. Be that fish that goes Veto. Veto. If you can't make it, keep trying. What if they're all wrong and I'm right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like from Fargo. <laughs> so next up. Removing the air cleaner. When I sit on the front bow, cleaning so very Boop. So the other day, I was I was in here working and the front the door opens and this dude's standing there and he goes, Hey, hey, you're that guy from the internet. And I go, what, where, who? And he goes, you. And I go, not me. And he goes, yeah, you, I watch you. I go, stop watching me, that's creepy. <laughs> and he goes, no, no, you're funny. And I'm like, no, I'm not. He's like, no, man. Can you, will you sign my jeans? I've been watching you every day for like a week. You're on Blackhead's channel. Hey man, people just appreciate you. Bro, I'm you're so cool. cool. No, just get out of here with that. I am not. You guys go blow him up on Instagram and stalk him. He's so, him. He's cool. so cool. No, shut up. He's so Anthony, cool. He's like the best helping. boss I've ever had. Oh my God. Best you're boss ever. Best boss I am ever. an idiot. You're not I an idiot. am a You're fucking... actually very intelligent. No, I'm an Right? Idiot. That's what I said. Yeah. I'm only intelligent because I made a lot of dumbass mistakes and had to learn the hard way. And here you are. That's why. There you are. Most you're... of the shit I tell you is because my dumbass did it, right? It's not like I learned because I'm smart and watched other people. No, which I make, up. Which makes you cool. Oh, yeah, man, it was the grind. You earned it. Ah. Experience is the best teacher. Yeah. Man, you guys are spinning this in a way I didn't want. Can you sign my tits? Oh. <laughs> yes, for you, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, that's the only, that's one of the only ones he doesn't have on. He'll have that in a couple weeks. No, because if she bail, have motherfucking bail on you, you know what I mean? There they are. Look down in there. Lock washer one, lock washer two. Neither of See which are it? needed. You don't use down lock washers on these. What in the hell? Mm. Yeah. Next step. More engine. What are we doing now? Taking off the throttle body. Taking off this air sucker doohickey thing. Ignition and coil. And a bell. Get out of there. Come on. Come you on. You know you want to. Look how little that is. Dude, if we were to compare that to like I the know. M8, like horsepower ink one. <laughs> All right, so nice little comparison between a. Uh, Iron 883 throttle body and manifold versus horsepower ink 70 millimeter for the Milwaukee 8. Look, this manifold is almost the size of 
<laughs> the whole damn thing. <laughs> That's getting a lot more air, I'd say. So now that we got the throttle body uh, manifold removed, what's next? Rock covers. <laughs> Things to cover stuff up. Oh, look at you. Go ahead, get that out of there. I don't know how. Look at you, big dog. Get it. This will be fun. Oh, look at you. Smart guy. You know how many technicians I watch fight this for hours because it won't fit through here? And they don't bother to go forward. Really? Yeah. That seems like a logical thing to do. It does, I mean, you're not but gonna you'd go be amazed at how many people don't figure that out. They fight it. They assume, oh, it's going to come off this it's way. It's an Evo, and I am blockhead, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Evo whisperer. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Just kidding. I always wondered what that was. Now I know. Prepping it to rotate the engine to take pressure off of the push rods. Well, Top dead center or whatever, right? Yeah. You want your cam to be at the base circle, regardless of where the engine position is. You want the pressure off the push rods before you pick these up. Because they're under tension. Correct. With the big twin, you you know what goes on behind the scenes, but with the big twin, I don't do it this way because I can rotate the engine a different way. Oh, look. It's under covers. How come those gaskets are peeling up? What's wrong there? The hell? See, these are moving up. Yep. Three pressure. These, we're looking for both of these to be at the bottom, which they are, right? They're not moving. Yeah. Okay, so we can take the front off and then we'll rotate it around to take the rear off. Smaller bolts out first. Yeah, and then you're going to take the 716s that are in here out, and then you will take the half in. So small, medium, large. Smell that? Yeah. Yeah. You know what that, we're not even going to say what that smells like. Oh, not what, on camera. What is that? You know exactly what that is. Oh, I know what it smells like. Uh -huh. What is it? Like, what is... It's dirty air. It's air that's been trapped in here. Smell that. No. I can smell it from here. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I like how you're like, ugh. ugh. Who would have thought? Yeah, well. Like a motorcycle engine would smell like that. You know how many times straight people come back in the shop and they'll walk by us dismantling one and go... Yeah. And you have Ooh. to be like, it's not me. I promise. It's the not bike. Me. <laughs> uh huh. So do me a favor, Block. Stop. Describe that smell for the viewers at home. Dead animal. Oh. Specifically, specifically from the ocean. Ah. <laughs> Smack it. There you go. Money. Look at that. Perfect. I'm gonna make a technician out of you someday. Yeah. All right. So rotating tire. For when these get to the bottom. Get to the bottom and stop moving. Ugh. All right. Both of them. Yeah. Not moving anymore. Nope. Okay. Bro, that sound is disgusting. <laughs> it's like quick, quick. I know exactly. What that <laughs> Sounds like. moist. Yes, it does. <laughs> and it smells. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can. Hey. Came right off, made it look like, it, yeah, I don't know, like I might have done that one. Like you have 24 years experience no. and you're a master level tech. Hey. No, like, like I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. And that. Ooh, heads. You need help, sir? You got it? You just hang on. Yeah. So how many miles are on this bad boy? I don't know. That's a lot of oil. Turn it on and we'll see. Just no, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't even fit tight on these. So small. Damn. Go compare this real quick to uh to an M8 piston. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, hey. No. Marcus? All right, what are we doing now, stick white bag? Taking bolts and holes. Bolts and holes. Yo, quit. Come like on, oh, come on, man. Yo, what the f That's what I meant. Blue clock. Blue clock, blue clock. There's your cams, buddy. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, we're Parody. still recording here. So what are we going to do next? You're going to pull them out and just boop, 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 drop the cams in there, put a little lube no, on them? we're going to time them in there and then put it together. Oh, okay, see, I would have messed up the a cover, motor, so I'm going to leave them in the front. I would have definitely messed up a motor. Yes. Probably. The oil pump on these is here. So it's known as a helical gear. 
This one is what gets time to the cam. It's a pretty good cam. That's a 590. As a matter of fact, that's a 590. It says a Sportster. Low. Look at the size difference. It's almost like it's a smaller engine. There's one lobe, one lobe, yep. one cam, one individual lobe per cam. So for those of you that don't know or didn't know, the Sportster is derived of four individual cams. One cam per push rod, basically. Uh, much like the original Harley Davidson motor quad cam lower end. Well, I wish I could be part of the Patreon deal, the giveaway stuff. Oh, the giveaway. Yeah, yeah. lucky you guys. Lockhead crew's not allowed. No, nope, we're not allowed. But you know what? We build cool shit, so that's all that matters. Way it's better because of Patreon shit. that we get to build cool exactly, shit. Exactly, see? Eventually you will build. You guys will stand around out. and watch me do it. Yeah, yeah. I got your back 100, <laughs> son. But you guys build stuff. You're there when I need you. Like, it's good. I like it. Hey, it's a good bread. relationship so far. That's all you see me as? I need some bread. Yeah. So hold stuff, guy? I got okay? you. I got you. No, you? No, I'm just referring to him. Uh huh. Come on. Give me some. Whoa, give me some. <laughs> There it is. You got to do the noise. You say you want bread, right? Thanks. All right, guys. So we have reached the stopping point for today. Stopping point. No, don't put moonshine in there, bro. That's not moonshine. That's uh, that's um, race gas. Dude, that's VP 110. Yes. Non ethanol. Let non leaded. Non. E uh. Dang! Just drinking gas. Ah, uh, this isn't. This isn't moonshine. This is gasoline. Oh God. <laughs> So like I was saying, we have reached a stopping point with Stop the, <laughs> for <f> sake. <laughs> Let me do the outro. I walked back in for a time. So we've reached a stopping point with the Sportster, no longer Iron 883 giveaway. These guys are, we're, it's the end of the day. We're, they're just going off the rails today. This outro is really difficult. These guys are ready to get out of the shop. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. This is episode one of the SNS 1200 hooligan kit on the Iron 883. Uh, up here at Seminole Harley Davidson with Chris Sick Wide Glide. Appreciate you, man, as always. We'll continue in episode two, building it back up. So we've basically taken it down, cams out, cylinders, pistons, heads, all that stuff off. And then next up, we're going to reassemble with the new stuff from the kit. We're using stock heads though, stock push rods, putting the new cams. Big thanks to Bagger Bro, Greg, Javi for coming along. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, be sure to go follow all them too. Like I said, this is a bike that we are giving away. So whenever we're done with it, we're giving it away through Patreon. It's because of Patreon that we are able to do projects like this. We basically customize it, build it up, give it back to the community. If you guys want to join in on that, join in at patreon.com slash blockhead mode. I'll be sure to drop the link down in the description below as well. The amount pledge per episode times the amount of episodes released equals the amount of your entries at the end of the season which is here in like less than a month drawing a winner for three different bikes iron 83 is one of them indian scout as well as the yamaha bolt big thanks once again to revzilla for sponsoring the season greatly appreciate it i'll be sure to go check them out revzilla.com i'll also link them down in the description below if you guys want any of the parts that we're using from the exhaust to the big bore kit from sns to the dyno jet tuner i'll be sure to link all that down in the description also Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hit the like button. It helps the channel out quite a bit. If you guys aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.